In this tutorial, we're going to go over um, basic audio. Um, to create audio, first you want we're going to make the jump sound effect. And I'll include this audio um, directory um, in the description. So first you say var, and I like to put S and D before all my sound files so I can remember that they're a sound file. So var S and D jump equals new audio and then in parentheses where you want to get this audio file and I'm going to get it at the audio folder and I'm going to get the jump.mp3 um, and that will get the jump.mp3 file now what I'm going to do I'm going to go to where, where I jump which is right here where it says players velocity equals negative 5 and I'm going to add SND jump dot play. I'm going to save this and I run it. You won't be able to hear it, but it makes the jump sound every time I jump. Now, um, it may, I, I could be wrong about this, but I'm guessing that the audio has to stream, so it might be smarter to pause the game before it starts and let the audio stream, you know, like a loading screen. Or when I, but the files I'm giving you, I'm, they're really small, so it really shouldn't have a streaming problem. As you can see, this one's 600 kilobytes, and the jump file's only 7 kilobytes. So they shouldn't have a streaming problem, um, for now at least, but once you get into larger files, that might become a problem. Now I'm going to show you how I like to do, um, kind of like your theme music, or the music that plays in the background. I'll create an audio tag and give it the ID. I'm just going to name this theme one. And then I'll say source equals audio forward slash theme dot mp3. And then just in this audio tag, I'm also going to create a function for what happens when the audio ends. I'm going to say on ended equals, let's just say, theme one end. And that's just the function I'm going to use. Now under the variables, I'm going to right here this line. You might have seen this var theme one equals document dot get element by id theme one. Um, that will get get theme one as that audio element. Then I'm going to say theme one dot play. That will automatically play it. And theme one end. I'm going to create a function for when it ends. What we referenced up here. And I'm just simply going to say. Um, theme one dot play so it's going to play it when it ends so keep the theme in an infinite loop now, I, now you can't hear it but if you did it yourself you'll be able to hear it 